Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing our series of videos with respect to inspiration, uh, education, information, guidance, advice. And um, I'm struck by a, a phrase in the Torah that uh, seems unimportant, but is actually fraught with significance. It's in uh, the book of Exodus, uh, in uh, chapter 38, verse 21. These are the reckonings of the Mishkan. These are the reckonings, the accounting of the tabernacle. The accounting, the reckoning of the various donated materials used for the construction of the Mishkan takes up a significant portion of Parshas uh, Pekude in the, the Torah. Every detail, every amount is reckoned and accounted for. It was Harav Moshe Feinstein, Allah Shalom, that uh, felt, he felt, that the concept of a reckoning applies equally to every aspect of our lives at every moment of our existence, just as the artisans had to account for every ounce of every material donated for the construction of the Mishkan, for the construction of the temple, temple. So too, we must be able to give an accounting for the wonderful materials, the wonderful God-given gifts um, that we have received from the Creator. So if you think about it, this has some pretty serious uh, implications. Um, Hashem gives us time. The Creator gives us certain abilities, certain talents, uh, certain fortunes. Sometimes uh, we're blessed with wealth. Sometimes we're blessed with, blessed with skill, knowledge, intuition, all these gifts that, um, that God gives us. Do we spend our time wisely? Do we devote it to certain causes? Do we spend time studying Torah? Do we spend... Uh, uh, funds to educate our children properly? Do we give to worthy causes? Or do we fritter away our time on frivolities? Some of us are blessed with a large amount of material wealth, material largesse. Are we supporting worthy causes? Are we helping the poor? Are we feeding the hungry? Are we supporting institutions that will encourage learning in others? We will be put to an accounting, a reckoning of how we used our gifts from God. We will be asked how we spent our time, how we spent our resources, and we'll have to be asked if we or careful to use, for example, money prudently, or did we waste it on meaningless purposes? We think that God's gifts to us are ours to do with as we please. This is a very gross error. There are pages and pages of the Torah and many thousands of pages in the Mishnah and Gemara that cover how we deal with our property. How we use what is ours is determined by God, determined by the Torah, determined by religious law. Each of us is born with abilities, skills, talents, and we will have to give an accounting for how we utilized these God-given gifts. We, the Creator pl placed us in this world for a reason. He placed us here for a purpose. Not using God's gifts for that purpose in a manner similar is a manner similar to using them inappropriately. 
let's use our gifts for good and um, to do what God expects of us. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Mono Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.